Good morning, everybody. Let me express first my thanks to the invitation to this remarkable event. To this remarkable event, uh, to the organizing committee, and to the board. And I want to tell you something about our experiences in the field of practical integration of Ayurveda in a gynecological oncological department in a German hospital. Um, first of all, I want to give you some um, common remarks and then I will show you our work on hands of a case report of an on oncological patient. I want to speak something about oncology and Ayurveda in the West, the uh, importance of Ayurveda for oncology, some remarks on personality in cancer, I want to introduce to you our concept of Oncoveda uh, with its tools of Ayurvedic treatment and then the case report. For my opinion, the relationship of conventional oncology and Ayurveda is as follows. The primary approach of a disease, which is a very severe one, um, has to be performed by the conventional medicine, by surgery, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, cytotoxic therapy, hormonal therapy, and so on. But simultaneously, I think Ayurveda can support the conventional medicine in form of reduction of side effects, in form of psychophysical stabilization, and uh, in form of integration of a holistic level in the treatment. On the other side, in the palliative situation, in the very advanced cases of cancer, I think Ayurveda has a very important role for the maintenance or improvement of the life quality. And uh, I think the life quality is the first target we have to uh, keep in mind in these stages of disease. From my side of view, um, the oncogenesis is characterized by a dissociation of all personality levels. As you know, personality is a very complex system. It has a somatic layer, a mental layer, and also a spiritual, or I call it, essential layer. And in the Western medicine, we are focused mostly on the somatic level, and sometimes on the mental level, and very rarely on the spiritual level. So I think um, due to a long period of all kind of distress uh, in oncogenesis, the aggravation of all doshas leads to the manifest disease of cancer. And this disturbance of all um, doshas due to the chronic distress uh, leads to a shift to negative effects of the doshas. In kapha it is loss of control in tissue contra construction. Uh, in pitta it is destruction of normal tissue components and in vata it is uncontrolled spread in form of metastasis. Um, from these components we um, inaugurated the system, we call it Oncoveda, a treatment concept according Ayurvedic principles in cases of malignant diseases um, combined with the conventional medicine in a hospital, in a general hospital uh, department of gynecology and obstetrics in the south of Germany. We started this project about seven years ago. The components of this concept are uh, patient's history and determination of Ayurvedic constitution, Supportive herbal drugs for compensation of side effects due to the chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Very important in the West, the manual therapy with specific medicated Ayurvedic oils. Targeted techniques of manual therapy in special problems as loss of mobility or of pains uh, in cases of bone metastasis. And very important in the West also, think to the third layer, to the third level, the spiritual level and the mental level, individualized units of yoga and meditation for reintegration of body, mind and soul. 
and also a positive setting and a pleasant clinical surrounding in our very technical uh, hospitals in the West. The components and details, the manual therapy for equalizing psyche, musculoskeletal system and digestion, herbal drugs to influence Agnian's rotas, reduction of tumor mass, analgetic effects, Rasana effects and equalizing the side effects, yoga and meditation as I told you for the reorganization of the cells and in special cases elements of panchakarma for purification of vata, pitta or kapha respectively. The aims of Ayurvedic phytotherapy in oncology is support of Agni, for example using Chitraka, improvement of srota function, using Balataka or Katuki, reduction of pain and reduction of tumor cell mass. I want to show you this concept on hand of a integrative management including components of Ayurvedic medicine in the case of an advanced carcinoma sarcoma of the uterus. This carcinoma sarcoma of the uterus is a very rare gynecological tumor. Only 0.4% of all gynecological tumors are carcinosarcomas and it has a very bad prognosis. The 5 year survival rate in stadium 3 is less than 10%. And due to these uh, features, there is no evidence-based by guidelines available in the West for the treatment of this entity of uh, tumor. And also the effect of chemotherapy and radiotherapy is very poor. So, uh, as I told you, the maintenance of life quality due to this very bad prognosis comes to the first uh, importance or the most important uh, in the treatment sequence. And due to this fact, we integrated a holistic Ayurvedic concept. Now the history of this patient in September 2009, we saw this 67 years old female patient for the first time. She showed a very large, about 20 centimeters in diameter, large uh, tumor mass in the lower abdomen. Um, we did the first laparotomy and could remove this advanced exulcerative growing tumor of the uterus uh, by hysterectomy, bilateral adnectomy, resection of 50 centimeters of small intestine and uh, abdominal lymphonodectomy. The histology finding was metastatic carcinoma sarcoma of the uterus, the so-called malign mullerian mixed tumor, stadium T3, N0, M1, and very um, strong proliferative uh, features, uh, grading 3. Uh, we con continued with the postoperative irradiation of the whole abdomen with 50 rays. Two pictures. On this slide, you can see the um, pre operative situation in ultrasound finding. You see the tumor moth. Uh, with uh, partly uh, liquid, partly solid structures in this very large tumor in the lower abdomen. And this picture shows you the interoperative status. You can see marked with A the fundus uteri, marked with B the tumor mass originating from the, um, from the wall of the uterus and C the uh, involved part of the small intestine. We started the concept of the Ayurvedic um, features from the, uh, from the fifth postoperative day onwards using Bakupa, Moniera, Kanchanara, Gugulu, Niruha, Bastis with uh, Dashamula, Abhyanga uh, with Mahalaran, Thailand, Shirodara, Diet Advice, Vata Reducing Diet Advice, advice and Yoga Classes. So we had the first relapse a little bit more than one year later. Um, we did the second laparotomy with partial ectomy of uh, 27 centimeters of small intestine. Uh, histologically, it was a recidive of the carcinoma sarcoma, again with a R0 resection. It means total resection. 
But unfortunately, we had to do a third laparotomy one week later due to Ilias situation with a gastroenteroanastomosis. Postoperatively, we continued the Ayurvedic concept and um, under addition of Varuna and Valataka. Um, about seven months later, in June 2011, uh, we saw a very reduced general status. The Karnofsky index was about 50 or 60. Fatigue syndrome and severe anemia due to the tumor. And she had a new relapse, so we did the fourth laparotomy with a palliative resection of the tumor and tamponization of an excessive bleeding from the tumor cavity using surgical towers. To remove the surgical towers, we had to do the fifth laparotomy three days later. We discussed with the patient the polychemotherapy and radiotherapy, and in concordance with her, we gave her seven cycles of uh, doxorubicin and carboplatin under bone marrow support, and again, a uh, sequence of radiotherapy of the, uh, to the tumor cavity with 39 gray. We consequently continued the oncovida strategy. According to the improvement of life quality, after this um, session we um, did no more tumor-specific conventional therapy. In December last year, we had the last laparotomy with again a partial removal of the next ray manifestation of the tumor and the patient rejected on this moment the conventional procedures completely. So we continue it only with the Ayurvedic concept. The patient died in April, in April this year by circulation failure, but this is very remarkable without pains and in complete peace. And I think this cause of disease for about three and a half years is a very rare fact in this uh, entity of tumor because in stadium fear According to Figo, the survival period is about four to six months in average worldwide. We had no distant metastasis during the whole course, and so I would summarize the integ integrative attempt was successful, uh, combining surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and Ayurveda. And we had, and we could optimize her life quality. The Ayurvedic aspects uh, are shown here the anti-proliferative effect of Paulinia simicapos in comifora, the tumor destructive and excretory potency of Grapteva and simicapos, Rakta Shodana, an anti-spreading effect of Paulinia, stress-reducing anxiolytic and antidepressive effect of Bacupa, the water equalizing principle of manual therapy and inhibition of metastasis by Vasticama. So, the consequences and my statements of the complementary concept of Ayurveda combined with conventional medicine shows a model of modern holistic cancer care. Second, to maintain quality of life has a high importance for cancer patients. And thirdly, Ayurveda can be used as an additional treatment to accompany patients in a natural, intuitive and first of all a very human <coughs> manner. On the last slide, you, I show you two pictures from our um, Ayurvedic department attached to the gynecological department. Left side is the Ayurvedic intervention room and the right side is a yoga class in our yoga room. So, I thank you very much for your interest. And um, at the end, let me say, in the West, I think we don't only need high-tech medicine, we also need high touch. Thank you.